nine, eight. We have a go for engine start. Five, four. Imagine you are about to launch the next vehicle destined for space. How would you control all of the operations? A small company in Titusville, Florida has an answer. In fact, they know all about control. From launching space vehicles, to launching weapons, to controlling a power plant. Command and Control Technologies Corporation, or CCT, was started in the 1990s by a few guys who learned the importance of the words mission critical while working for a government contractor near the Kennedy Space Center. They also knew they had a better idea about how to meet mission critical needs. So, they licensed back a technology from the Space Center to prove it, a software technology that they'd originally developed. A few years later, CCT was awarded a contract from Kennedy through NASA's Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, program. Building on their software, they developed a new technology called Command and Control Toolkit. The product provides a turnkey system that handles many informational sources at once. CCT has also been contracted by NASA's Goddard Space Center to standardize data for the test range at Wallops Island, including the processing of telemetry and radar acquisition. They provided the early system engineering for the Range Control Center redesign as well. In addition to NASA, the Wallops Test Range acts as an extension to the Naval Air Station in Pax River, Maryland for some of their launches. So we had to develop a system that would take in data from all those sources and provide a turnkey look at the range safety aspects as well as the engineering aspects. In conjunction with the Virginia Space Flight Authority, CCT has also been working on automating the remote control system for the rocket fueling facility at Wallops. The facility is part of the launch operations. This new system will provide a lot more capability and is geared for commercial launches. Wallops wants to expand into the orbital market and they're well placed to do that. And we're hoping to help them along that road. The company has been able to transfer the command and control technology they've developed with NASA. They received an SBIR award from the Air Force Research Laboratory to create gateways to various weapon systems and surveillance platforms. Our job is to be able to take all of those, integrate them into a common data format so that you can have a common operating picture for the commander and not have to go out and reinvent the weapon system that's already in the field. In the future, CCT plans to diversify by moving technologies developed for the government into commercial markets. We've looked at a lot of different applications, the uh, energy generation industry, the process control industry, the manufacturing industry, all have applications, and we're trying to get into those areas. Based on the firm's ability to command and control, getting to the commercial sector should only be a matter of time. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes.